Welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to your weekly karmic update. Yes, I know I was supposed to put it out yesterday, but guys, I was absolutely pooped. The heat is incredible, so by now you're accustomed to my noisy fan, right? The heat is incredible. I'm going out tomorrow and buy a portable AC that I can put like right next to me. Because guys, I don't mean to be TMI, but I have one a really light cotton shirt i mean a really light cotton shirt and my underwear and i'm still sweating okay it is that crazy right now and i'm recording this in the night and it's still hot i can't deal all right so i'm gonna get a portable ac i'm gonna put it right next to me get all that good vibes and hopefully it's not too loud either all right i'm make sure i'm gonna ask them about it you know how loud that bloody thing is but anyway anyway guys anyway guys let us get into our reading and see what's happening in the comic connection hope you guys are keeping safe it's a crazy time i mean it's definitely a time of regeneration like when you like block out all the noise from social media the tv and these politicians um it's really a peaceful time and a real time of rebirth and you feel very hopeful but from the time you turn on that tv you know what's up when you tune into the vibration you feel the beauty in it but when you turn on that tv my god anyway let's get an energy for these people um let's do dm first what's the energy we got phoenix rising as a card number 32 he's always coming up in the fives he came up in the fives last week he came up in the fives the week before so it's about trial change tribulation but it is about what did it say what by fire i'm sorry I'm, I'm 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 missing even my words today yeah trial by fire anyway forged in fire let's let's use forged in fire forged into fire so you know he's been purified by this ring of fire here i think he's really going through the ringer um in this karmic relationship and maybe there are times when he thought you know what um he just couldn't make it it was the burden was so great the challenges were so great but like a phoenix he is reborn he is transformed and this is what's happening he is transforming himself he's reinvented himself right now and i'm really getting spiritual awakening vibes for sure okay so definitely having this big rebirth um as we speak let's see what's going on with the karmic that's powerful energy though that's also recognizing um your power really standing in your power let's yeah we get this home and we have card number eight so that's about strength and home what am i getting from this card today it could be you know um the karmic is trying to exercise their force of will um to keep this home together keep this life together um or it could be you know um, we've been channeling um a karmic that's been healing sometimes so it could be also that um this karmic is recognizing that, you know, home is inside. Home is not, you can't find your home in someone else. That's codependency. So maybe she's um, coming home to herself. Let me pull a card on that and see what that home means. But I'm seeing like some um, deep reflection. I mean, look at, what, look at what she's doing. It's deep reflection. And, and there's a candle here. So that's about enlightenment. That's about finding your own inner light. Yeah. Right. Look at here. Queen of Swords upright. So that's about speaking your truth and setting boundaries. Cutting out the bullshit. Right. Because as much as we like to paint DM as a victim here. It takes two. As we say in the Caribbean. Two one hand car clap. Right. It takes two. So the toxicity that's been brewing in this relationship. It's both of them. Right. So we see um this karmic stepping into um queen of swords mode here it looks like there's a lot of conflict um that's happening here a lot of fighting 
but it's it's positive movement forward okay we have the eight we have two eights here so as far as this karmic is concerned um they're bringing in some communication and it's creating some kind of positive movement forward for them whilst dm is transforming let's get another card yeah karmic looking deep within going into hermit mode going into hermit mode i told you we're all on this journey of self-love together i mean people have different ideas about what karmics are but i do believe um they are karmic debts there's transmuting karmic debts and they're also teaching each other some hard lessons about self-love so that's what i'm getting right here so we're channeling two people who are learning their lessons i can't bring it any other way however spirit delivers the message is how i i am um, i give it to you all right so let's see the emotions that are swirling in this relationship right now so dm is transforming karmic standing in her power okay guys i yes i know i see he and she but i can't help it right now all right so let's look let's look at the, the emotions how is dm feeling right now in this connection um we heartbroken heartbroken you see the things that he's built is falling apart um karmic could have deceived him as well and then he's talking about you know what walked away from dear for this i'm gonna clarify anyway but you know something that he put his heart and soul into it's over he's repulsed by what we're gonna find out but we've been channeling that he's been repulsed by himself so let's see feeling reckless so this could be engaging in escapist behaviors or this could also be wanted to take a leap of faith. And we also have here amused. So we're going to see what that is about. Um, karmic emotions. Just generally. Confrontational. Well, we saw her with that queen of swords. Not sticking the bullshit any longer. No longer enabling. So that's confrontational. Facing the situation head on inventive solution oriented or well, she could be making up shit we can see angry and contemplated so in hangman mode and and we saw the contemplation on her face right look at it deep reflection and contemplation all right so let, let, let's really get into these cards and see what's happening here but um they're being transformed by this relationship right now all right so let's see heartbroken all right heartbroken over the situation with the comic recognizing comic probably never loved him um this was never based on love he's recognizing that now and he's absolutely heartbroken because at one point remember dm would have thought that this was the one and that you were the comic so depressed stressed out over this situation all time money and energy losing money um in this situation very unstable at this point in time what's he repulsed by um we have nine of pentacles and the six of cups reverse so um i think now that he's making a move to release toxicity and really stand in his nine of pentacles energy he's repulsed that he ever got um entangled in this connection in the first place that's what i'm getting i think he's really heartbroken that this is over because at one point he thought that this was the one for some of them they thought that this was the twin okay we have reckless yeah no longer putting any effort into this connection um for some of them they might have even lost their job manifesting a new beginning for themselves they're like you know what um, effort i'm going to do some kind of fool's energy here because i'm bored and discontented anyway right so heartbroken that he's put so much time effort and energy um into this thing and you know no return on investment what's he amused by he amused by how, how much toxicity um he put up with how codependent he was and how everything has kind of fallen apart it's like a sarcasm yeah and now that he loves himself he's looking back on what they manifested together and he's like what the fuck yeah he's amused by the fact that he ever thought that this toxic relationship 
was total wish fulfillment. He's now realizing how skewed he was. Karmic confrontational. All right, yeah. Um, there was some kind of painful ending, some kind of betrayal. He could have deceived her. She could have deceived him. But um, she's facing it head on. No more lies, no more deceit, no more sneaky behavior. Everybody's speaking their truth right about now. She's releasing this toxic cycle too. Right? Inventive. What's she inventive about? Yeah. All right. So um, she's trying to figure out, you know what? How do I get my just due? She's thinking about the money already. Okay? She's thinking about the money. Um, she doesn't want the drama, doesn't want the fighting. She wants to see how she can erase some of the competition. So for some of them, they're still trying um, to keep this home together, right? So they're trying to figure out how do they erase the competition here. Um, they want to be manipulative. Some of them re resort into the dark arts as per usual, right? So I'm getting two, two kinds of comics here. One, high vibe listening to their intuition. And is that intuition is telling them, release this toxicity and the other one still meddling trying to erase um t trying to get rid of the competition which is udf um and might be manipulating and might be even using some of the dark arts so two different comics i am channeling here more one more high vibrational stepping into self-love and the other one um just trying to figure out how to keep shit together even though it's toxic so that's why i was getting that those two messages with that home card so one trying to exert their strength to keep a home together and the other karmic finding out that home is really within okay um and this karmic is angry angry about what that everything has fallen apart the tower has fallen and that um dm has walked away dm has walked away or maybe he has emotionally withdrawn from the relationship you know when people just shut down i think that's what's happening yeah angry that you know he might have been a player he might have been playing with her feelings we don't know what he's been telling the comic he might have been playing with her feelings okay and she's contemplative what's she contemplating yeah how she gave her power away how she didn't stand in her power right but she's standing in her power now she's also thinking about df too right she's thinking about df and she's feeling very much alone um in this situation right now interesting energies guys so it looks like people are speaking up in this relationship okay and they, they, it looks like there was a massive tall moment as per usual there's always a tall moment going on right all right so anyway um let's see dm's headspace for the karmic where the karmic is concerned what is he thinking what's he thinking The Hierophant in reverse, it's over. The soul contract is over. That's what he's thinking. It's it's over. Headspace for the comic. We got judgment. Mm -hmm. Scorpio energy. We got five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We got Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, and we have Six of Cups in reverse. What is he thinking? It's over. He's wide awake now. He's seeing things clearly. His judgment is no longer skewed. Okay? And he's seeing that. This was all mind games. This was all mind games. And that every decision that he made regarding this connection was based on his own self-sabotage and behavior. So he's recognizing that now. It's been conflict from day one. And his heart, his soul knew it. His soul knew it. But you know, pride, you know, ego. So he's recognizing that now. You know, and he's, wa he's watching, look at it. That's why I like this Tower of the New Vision. He's watching this shit burn to the ground and he's realizing, you know what? 
I should have seen this sooner. I should have picked up the sword of truth sooner. Okay? And now he's just holding his heartbreak. So heartbroken. Heartbroken. Because at one at, for some of them, they would have thought that this one was the one and that you were the karmic. Okay? So he's recognizing now it was never about love. It was all about emotional immaturity. It was all about inner wounding. It was all about pain. It was all about baggage that had not been um, examined. It was never about love. It was always about codependency. So he's recognizing that now. And he's seen the karmic for who the karmic really is. And he's recognizing himself in the karmic also. And he, he, he's thinking it's over. It's over. It's done. We have the six of cups in reverse. This soul contract is over as far as DM is concerned. All right. So what's happening in their life? I think we already um, figured that out just from the emotional intelligence deck. The emotional intelligence deck told us the whole story. But let's find out what's happening in their connection right now. Woo! Okay. So we have the confirmation again. Um, it's a tower moment, right? But this tower moment is what is allowing for DM's total transformation. Because um, we have been channeling a DM that's been kind of going back and forth and waffling. But this tower had to fall to complete this transformation. He had to hit rock bottom. We've been there, DM. We know what that's like. We've been there. But still we rise and so will you. Alrighty. So, what's happening in their connection? All right, something is ending in the family room. We have a card number 21, and that's all about the world. Um, so we're going to pull cards in the family room and see what's happening. All righty, what else is happening? We got courthouse. Um, so somebody received their karma. Um, somebody is heading to court. Somebody might be facing the court system right now um, for something totally unrelated to the situation. Somebody could feel trapped. Um, but it's a card of challenge, change, tribulation, the fives. He, he's in the fives. He's in the fives, okay? He's still in the fives. He's not reached the sixes yet, right? He's in the fives. What's happening? A choice. We have the lovers, right? We have card number 15. 15 is about the devil. But 15 also reaches the six, which is about the lovers. So he has a choice. Does he continue in this toxic relationship? delving in his codependencies and his addictions and all of that or does he choose the light his spirit guides are surrounding him spirit is surrounding him right now trying to give him the messages but will he listen we're about to find out but we see him embarking on a journey here and in to embark on this journey he has to end something for this whole new cycle to begin so let's deconstruct these cards guys and see what is the messages so what's happening in this family room all right so we know that there is a family definitely and there's some truth being spoken in this family room they're telling me family secrets they're telling me family secrets all right so i'm also getting guys that this family room card is not just about the nuclear family or that relationship with the karmic partner only it's also truth rushing in to karmic family members including mother figures maybe even karmic siblings so i'm getting an extended family vibe as well truth is rushing in about some toxic patterns um in someone's family yep that have created a lot of depression not just for dm could be all around could be all around could be all around and you know the nine of swords is also about not facing affairs so maybe many people in this family has have not faced their affairs or have not faced the boogeyman from their childhood so there's truth being spoken in this family right now and that's bringing an end to some toxic cycles and some toxic behaviors okay um, so it looks like DM ran out of patience. Remember, he was practicing patience before. He ran out of patience. And it looks like some family secrets are being revealed. 
Ooh. What's happening at the courthouse here? Um, somebody's getting single at the courthouse. Somebody's getting single at the courthouse, guys. Yeah, they've already gotten the enlightenment that they um, needed. Now, this courthouse could be um, universal court, okay? So that's karma court, right? That's karma. So somebody might have received their karma, and now they're single. They've gotten that enlightenment, um, and they're heading for victory. What's happening with the lovers? Somebody manifesting a new beginning for themselves. They're done with the old toxic cycle. They've gotten a piece of inspiration from spirit. So it looks like their spirit guides got through to DM or the karmic or to both of them. And it could be both of them manifesting in this new beginning here. Oh, yeah. Because they're recognizing that this whole situation that they built was just based on money. It was never about love. Yeah, everybody's expressing their emotions right now. Even the children. Alright, what's this journey that's happening here? Yeah, somebody's leaving. No longer investing um, in this connection. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Um, they really want stability in their life. Um, this person could have been married that I'm tapping into. And it looks like something has come to a very, very painful end. It's just total instability right now. Okay, so looks like tar moment looks like things falling apart what card is this looks like total instability mental and emotional and financial i'm getting so why are these people together let's find out what card what card oh let's let's do this back dm's card why are these people still together spirit they are still together because somebody is still lying somebody's still withholding the truth and there's still a lesson here there's still some truth that need to come out and someone there's a lesson in being your authentic self that might be still at play for some of you guys there is still karma between these two people still being transmuted and that's why they're together and you know what spirit is going to make it that they stay together until that trial that karmic debt is paid um yeah i'm getting somebody's lying here somebody's still lying somebody is still lying in this connection that could be the karmic could be dm somebody's still lying either to themselves or other people somebody feels like they can't move on from this situation right now um let's see okay okay so somebody felt like if they can move on but they're releasing this burden so listen if they have not um if they're not done with this connection up on this till this moment um this is happening incredibly soon okay okay guys so listen if this resonated for you and you feel this is um your dm's energy here join me in the extended now what we're going to do there and um, we're going to look at their heart space energy for the comic we're going to look at how the comic feels about them we're going to look, the, about, we're going to look at um, how the karmic feels about you. We're going to look at what the karmic is hiding. We're going to look at what your DM has told the karmic about you. We're going to look at what is happening um, at the end of the month with regard to this connection. And then I'm going to get some advice for you from Spirit. So you can join me either on Vimeo where you pay for the single link $3.33 or join me on my Patreon um, where it's $5.55 and you get access to to all my extendeds everything that went before and all my extendeds this month and you can just join for the month as soon as you sign up delete the subscription after it could be same day same hour just delete it so you just charge for the month and you see how it goes you try on the shoe you know all right all right guys so stay safe for me hopefully i'll stay cool i'll see you guys next time take care oh and if you can go a step further and click on any of the ads i might have played during this video that's beautiful energy exchange, guys. All right, take care. Bye.